Good afternoon. In today's Episcopal Church 101, I write this after some, last Sunday's visit from our new diocesan uh, bishop. And I thought it might be helpful for us to review some things about the office of bishop in the Episcopal Church. Much of this is applicable both to the Roman Catholic, the Orthodox churches, and the Lutherans. The word for bishop in Greek is episkopos, from which we get the English word episcopal. The word was originally a secular term and simply meant overseer or manager. Bishops are ordained clergy. They can perform all the sacramental rites of a priest, and they can confirm members of the church and ordain other priests and bishops. A bishop is a successor to one of the 12 apostles. Our Book of Common Prayer, page 855, defines the role of the bishop. The ministry of a bishop is to represent Christ and his church, particularly as apostle, chief priest, and pastor of the diocese, to guard the faith, unity, and discipline of the whole church, to proclaim the word of God, to set in Christ's name for the reconciliation of the world and the building up of the church, and to ordain others to continue Christ's ministry. Thus, the bishop is the chief priest and pastor of the diocese. All other clergy derive their ministry from the bishop. He or she is the guardian of the faith, responsible to see that the full truth of the gospel of God in Christ is proclaimed. He or she administers the discipline of the church and is responsible for seeing that the official worship of the church is regularly used in the churches under his or her care. Why is the work of the bishop important to the typical parishioner? When the bishop presides at a baptism, he or she represents the whole church, for the individual being baptized is becoming a member of one holy Catholic and apostolic church in its broadest sense. The following is what bishops from around the world in a recent Anglican communion uh, conclave at the Lambeth Conference said about the role of the bishop. Um, first, is to gather the whole community in celebration, presiding over the sacraments and ordaining new priests and deacons. Secondly, to proclaim the word of God as an apostolic witness to the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thirdly, to be a teacher, guardian, and interpreter of the faith and the apostolic tradition. Fourth, to be active in making and nurturing disciples. Fifth, to be a shepherd, a pastor of the whole people of God, with a special concern for the clergy of a diocese. And lastly, to be a prophetic voice for the voiceless. Very important thing there. Now that same Lambeth Conference of Bishops ended with this summary, quote, we are committed to the life of the church, to the wider communities in which we minister and to civil society. We recognize that it is in our calling to be bridge builders reconcilers, and symbols of unity. I am thankful for the role of bishop in our church, and I pray that they can all live up to the lofty ideals that they put forth. God bless you.